Hello, my name is Kevin with KLM Audio. Welcome to my first video on the Behringer X32 rack mixer. We will begin the series getting sound from our Behringer X32 rack. We will look at connecting an MP3 player and a dynamic microphone to the mixer for our sound. We will connect to the iPad X32 edit for the computer and to the iPhone with the MXQ personal monitor mix. And of course, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell if you would like to receive notifications of further videos. First things first, we'll turn the power on to our X32 rack. Then we need to connect an ethernet cord in the back of the Behringer X32 to our TP-Link external router. Unlike the XR18, which has a built-in router where you can use the access point, the X32 rack does not have a router and you must use an external router. In the back, we have also connected a dynamic microphone to channel 10. We have connected our MP3 player, which we have playing, to our auxiliary 5 in the back through the RCA jacks. I also have a wireless microphone connected to channel nine for the sound in this video. The next thing I'm going to do is go to Behringer.com and download X32 Edit. First we go to the top of the page here, we hit Downloads, then we hit Software, then I like to put in 60 entries here, so it's a little easier to search. Then we need to go to the X32 rack. Uh, and it's actually, there's a section here in the front, but it's actually towards the back. So we'll select page 25, and I think it's on 23, yeah. So we go to page 23, we go the X32 rack, we got the X32 edit for Mac and we select download here on the right hand side. As you notice, they also have one for the PC. The next thing you need to do is load X32 edit onto your computer. As you can see, I have it here in my sidebar. I'll click onto it. And it automatically connects to my 32 rack because I've already set it up. But let's look and see how I did that. We go over here to the top right and select settings. And in here, you can see here's my mixer on my IPS address 103. You want to make sure your sync direction here is connected from mixer to PC. I highly recommend that you select auto connect. That way, every time you open X32 edit, your mixer will automatically connect. Also take note of the version of edit is 4.4.1, which is a current version, and also on the mixer, which is 4.13, which is also the most current version. If you do not have the most current version, go to Behringer.com and download those firmwares. The other thing you will notice is I already have some colors and labels selected for my channels here. Let's go up to 132. And I'll show you how to do those labels later. Next, let's take a look at the iPad. Let's download the MX Mix app onto your iPad. Then we'll go to Settings, go to Wi-Fi, and here we will select the router that we have our mixer connected to, in this case TP-Link. I also recommend that you select Auto Join here so that if you lose connection, it will automatically rejoin. Really important during a show. Then we back out and we load the MX Mix. As you can see, it's scanning for the channels. And here it has picked up both my X32 rack and my XR18. So we're gonna select the X32 rack and it's going to transfer the parameters. Here again, you can see that I already have my channels pre-labeled. One thing to note, do not try to use 
the app called X32 Mix. I did this and spent an hour trying to connect the X32 rack. Evidently, this only works for the X32 console. Now the next thing to do is connect the MXQ personal monitor mix to your iPhone. It's the same procedures we just did for the iPad. One thing to point out in regards to your IP address, you will notice that if you look at one of the addresses, like for my iPhone, the IP address is 192.168.0.100. You switch over to the Mac and the last three change to 101. My iPad is 102. My X32 rack is 103. And my XR18 is 104. You can manually set the IP address if it does not come up automatically. Now that we have everything connected, let's look at getting sound from our mixer. We will look at everything in more detail in our next videos. First, on the face of the X32 rack, there is a channel selector, this area here. With an encoder knob, on the left side you will see in, aux, bus, DCA, main, and matrix. On the right hand side, you'll see a signal strength meter. And at the very top, you'll see what you have selected. So in is green, channel one, we are selected to channel one. Since we already have the MP3 connected and playing, let's first select aux five, where that MP3 player comes in. So we're gonna turn the dial all the way past 32 channels in to the auxiliary, Number five, we push it in, and now up the upper right-hand corner, we see aux five is selected. Since the MP3 player is a line in, we'll leave the trim for now set to zero. Using the arrow pad, we will tab over till we get to the main section, and we will turn our channel level up. Now notice that our channel level is up, but you're not hearing anything. That's because we don't have the mains turned on. These are just sends to the mains. They don't actually represent the mains fader. So we go back to our channel select, dial down to mains, left and right, select them, and now we can bring our main fader up. And there we have music coming through our MP3 player. Mission accomplished. Now one thing to note that below our channel selector is two buttons, solo and mute, and those will control whatever we have selected. So in this case, we have left and right mains selected. So if you hit the mute, we notice that we now turned off our mains. There is a second mute button for the mains on the screen here, and you see this last encoder is connected to it. If I push it, notice it unmutes, and we have sound again. Push it again, it turns yellow mute, and the sound disappears. Now let's connect the mic that we connected to channel 10 to a monitor we have connected to bus one. First, we'll go to our channel select, and we'll dial up to select channel 10. Push in the encoder, it is now connected to the screen. So the next thing, because it's a mic, we need to bring the mic level up, or the gain, so that the mixer can handle it. So what we need to do is use the numbers, come over to either home, whoops, home or config, and here's our gain. We'll dial it up as we're speaking into the microphone. Check, check, check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check, check, check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check, check, check one, two, check one, two. There's a good level. We've got green, but no yellow and definitely no red. Now that we've got this gain set, we'll tab over to the sends, and you'll see here that there is a circle around four of the monitors. If I push in the first encoder here, it'll scroll between each four. 
So here we got the first four collected. Here's level for bus one, and we'll raise the bus. And notice we still don't have sound. That's just because we're sending, this is the fader, we're sending channel 10 to bus one. Then we have to go back over to our encoder here and select bus one. Let's so come down here to bus one, select it. Once we have bus one selected, we'll dial up our channel level for the bus. This is the bus fader right now because we're connected to the bus. And there we have sound coming from our microphone. Now, if we go back to our mains, and we unmute it, now we have the MP3 player coming out of our mains, and we have my voice coming out of monitor one. Now let's look at X32 Edit on the computer. Open the app, and it should connect automatically if you selected that option. On the right side, select Mix Bus 1. Right here, Mix Bus 1. On the left side, we'll select Aux and Effects. We'll come over to Aux 5, where we have our iPod, and we'll raise that slide. And there we have sound coming from our iPod going out our mains. Now let's select channels 1 through 32. Go to our dynamic mix, look at our main left and right. And there we have sound from our microphone. And there we have the basics for X32 edit. We'll explore much more in the future. Now let's take a quick look at MX Mix on our iPad. We open the app. First thing we'll do is go down to channels 9 and 10. Channel 10 where we have our dynamic Mac connected. We'll raise the fader. We'll unmute our mains. And as we talk into our microphone, we'll raise the mains. Check one, two, check, check. And there we have volume coming out of our main mix. We'll mute the main. Let's go to our buses. Bus one is where our mix is at. We'll raise the bus up. Check one, two, check one, two. And now you've got the microphone coming out of the monitor. Of course, there are a lot more things you can do on this app, and we'll research those in the future. The second thing I've noticed is that the MX Mix on your iPad does not have the ability to do any routing. You have to do your routing either on X32 Edit or on the face of the M32 rack. Now let's look at the MXQ monitor mix on our iPhone. We'll go ahead and select the mixer. We've already got the Wi-Fi selected to our TP-Link external router, and it connects automatically. We can choose our mix bus, whichever one we want. In this case, we are using mix bus one, and we want to check, select mixer over here, and here you will have all our channels. And if we go over to our auxiliary five where we've got our iPod, we'll go ahead and raise the channel. And there you go, you have sound on your music. Now let's scroll over to channel 10 where we have our microphone connected. Check one, two, check, check. Check one, two, check, check. Check one, two, there we have it. You can now create your own monitor mix on stage, on your own phone, without the assistance of the sound guy. 
Now you have all your devices connected and working. So that is my presentation on getting started with the Behringer X32 rack. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and ring my bell to receive further notifications of my next video in the series for the Behringer X32 rack. Thanks, I'm Kevin with KLM Audio.